Would you run for a public office if you knew that there would be no monetary reward? Would you be willing to invest two years of your time, resources and money in such an office if you knew that your remuneration would just be goodwill and expanded network across the industry? Furthermore, after serving your time as president, you would still be required to volunteer your time and wisdom in supporting the serving president for life. This is the reality of these esteemed group of professionals in the oil and gas industry, who for the past 45 years have served and continue to serve the largest professional association of petroleum geologists and related disciplines in Nigeria and Africa, known as the Nigerian Association of Petroleum Explorationists, NAPI, as presidents and fellows. Please take a look at these courageous and bold individuals that has successfully led this association in the last 45 years. Akomeno Oteri, F. Nappi, Chamberlain Oibo, F. Nappi, Ebi Omashola, F. Nappi, Oka Owangu, F. Nappi, James Orife, F. Nappi, Emmanuel Ayola, F. Nappi, Wande Soya, F. Nappi, Bayo Akimpelu, F. Nappi, Dan Ndefo, F. Nappi, Steve Okolo, F. Nappi, M. O. Adebola, F. Nappi, Mark Ofohi, F. Nappi, R. A. Oshewa, F. Nappi, Lambert Ahiyombari, F. Nappi, Tajudin Lawal, F. Nappi, Lai Fatono, F. Nappi, O. O. Ogunyomi, F. Nappi, Abayomi Fisher, F. Nappi, Femi Akimade, F. Nappi, Jide Agbabiaka, F. Nappi, Tunde Afolabi, F. Nappi, Precious Omuku, F. Nappi, A. S. Odushino, F. Nappi, Ladi Fadeyomi, F. Nappi, Emmanuel Adopaye, F. Nappi, Promise Egele, F. Nappi, Gilbert Odio, F. Nappi, Austin Avuru, F. Nappi, Emmanuel Enu, F. Nappi, Kinsley Ojo, F. Nappi, Victor Agbe Davis, F. Nappi, Isaac Arowolo, F. Nappi, Jide Ojo, F. Nappi, Mayowa Afe, F. Nappi, George Osahon, F. Nappi, Ade Doja Ojelabi, F. Nappi, Chikwem Edozim, F. Nappi, Nosa Omorodion, F. Nappi, Abiodun Adesoya, F. Nappi, Andrew Ejiariasi, F. Nappi, Ajibola Oyebamiji, F. Nappi, and now, serving president, Alex Nachi Taka, F. Nappi. Truly, Nappi has been served by some of the finest geologists our industry has had to offer. These men and women typify the quote by Mike Doody, and I quote, the willingness to volunteer is a selfless act, end of quote. In order to celebrate, honor, and appreciate the selflessness of these servant leaders, corporate members, sponsors, and deserving long-standing members of the association, the President's Night was born. An event which was introduced by the Conference Planning Committee of 2015, led by the then President-elect, Nosa Omorodion F. Nappi. For all the physical and intellectual work they do, this night was created to have a convivial atmosphere where former presidents 
deserving and corporate members let down their guards and party like only presidents can do. To commemorate this year's edition, we sat down for a chat with some of our past presidents, or should I say, a presidential chart. Whereas there are three categories of presidents in chronological order in these 2020 NAPI presidential documentary. In this episode, I present to you the first set of presidents between the year 1975 to 1997. My name is Akumeno Jerome Ulayagbe Otiri. I'm Chief Chebarin Uibo. I'm a boy James Griffin. My name is um, Pastor Daniel Defu. Uh, my name is uh, Steve. Stephen Anago Okolo. My name is uh, Dr. Daniel Lambert Irion Barry. My name is uh, Lai Fasola. Okay, my name is uh, Jide Yagbabiaka. My name is Karaji Abdibayo. Karaji Well, in that very first year, initially everything had to come from donations by individuals, by ourselves, gathering uh, to take, I mean, start it off. But eventually we had support in that uh, the, when we needed, when we had to leave the hotels and have meetings in company, company premises, we were, we were accommodated by the companies they gave us room and uh, they gave their support so the support is not what it is now in monetary or so terms but at that very early stage that we were able to convince management of these companies to uh, to give us room to first of all allow us gather and give us their premises to gather i think was a monumental achievement and something that uh, we should thank the communists for. I think uh, what I should say is that uh, there should still be that zeal, that zeal to expand the boundaries. Uh, there's nothing that uh, is impossible. There is still a room at the top and the uh, successive uh, people coming in to run the association should want to should leave a legacy they should build on what they have met expand it and actually when uh, i saw the list of people vying for positions in the uh, elections which i think is concluding today i was really very happy because it was difficult choosing between one and the other all of them had very much experience all of them had the zeal to move nappy forward and I think it uh, bodes well for the society, for the association, that we have a crop of people very experienced, very hardworking, very keen to move the association and uh, take it to a higher level and bring uh, you know, the country as a whole. Because uh, the oil industry is the backbone of the Nigeria. Even with all this uh, talk about alternative energy, uh, the, the knowledge we are getting from NAPE and from the oil industry they will also uh, translate to other aspects of the, na the nation's development and the world's development. I would like to see NAPE making a, a position not only in Nigeria but in the world and being a, a, a beacon for Africans that Africans can perform. The advice I have, uh, first they should continue to, they should remember that they are professional society. And our strength is in the technical programs we have for our members. We should spend more time on mentoring the younger professionals. That way, people are not just members by name by, by, by number, but they are members that benefit from the activities of the of the society.
that really needs to personalize into how to move into the next phase of the energy industry and business. It will require a lot of um, hard work and thinking and strategizing because as we are, you will realize that um, petroleum is gradually becoming a fuel of third or first of fourth choice. It's no longer the fuel of first choice. So the city has to also try to regenerate itself to fit into the energy requirements of society and possibly to rename itself in future to relate to what the energy demands of society will be. You need to extend beyond the industry alone. Get into the national circle. How you will do it, I think I'll provide some uh, bit of uh, advice on it, but uh, with younger, brighter minds than mine, I'm sure in the next five years we will see something better than we are now. When it was our own time, we were doing head on to put somebody who is capable to do certain things. Yes, we must make sure that the people we elect as our officers, right from the president elect, who will eventually become the president, the secretary, the vice president, and all that they are competent people, they are not novices. Must put, you know, everybody is good, but everybody will, should wait for his or her time. We shouldn't just uh, begin to put, you know, it's an association that has matured and is still growing. So we must make sure that we put people, when they speak, the government will listen. We don't, we don't criticize government, we don't propose the government, but we, we make recommendations. When we speak, we will speak intelligently and then when we make recommendations, they are not recommendations that can just be thrown overboard. Thank God, the people in the government now, the NMTC and so on, they are you know, also members of the association and uh, they, they have the listening there, they understand us. I would say NAPI needs to be dedicated to service. That's the members of NAPI. They need to be dedicated to service. They need to have a commitment to NAPI. A situation where I was hearing last week that of the 2,000 strong membership, only 800 have paid their dues is unacceptable. Unacceptable. This is the only society we have. If we cannot support it and help it to grow, then we have failed. So if you belong to NAPI, don't wait for anybody to come knocking at your door before you pay. By the 1st of January, or better still, by November, you should have paid your dues for the next year. That's one of the things they should, we should do. Number two, people, who, professionals who are willing to contest must develop a commitment for NAPI. Not, not a penchant for show. NAPI is not a showy place. We, we are spending too much money on doing ordinary things rather than focusing on what we know, which is our technical excellence and our professional practice. That is what we need to do. Uh, going forward, I think NAPI should continue the way they are going. And as I said, I want to expand their post to 
other areas in the world so that will be more recognized elsewhere apart from the APG and others. Then two, well, the oil industry is growing every day, you know, and then we should be more involved in the policy making. Make a good bit of their suggestions and then, you know, try to follow it up. And then make sure that we, we, we have, we have com committed members in the executive. Well, that is the only way that can push the association forward. And they are the ones that will assist the British president cannot do it alone. It needs the support of everybody. And so, you know, so that's why this, this, this need for well dedicated, you know, you know, executive members and, their, and all the members of NAPE should also be committed to the development and progress of NAPE now and in the future. And I said, I think, uh, I think that's the advice I will, because new generations, you know, some generations are gone now. The new generation should be able to know what is, you know, in a digital age, which makes everything very easy. So communication shouldn't be a problem at all within this, uh, within the organization. We should be able to lace, you know, with all the, remember, you know, get in touch with all the, you know, all the past presidents and past executives that are still available, you know, at least interact with them you know, for one thing or the other, so that they will seek, you know, know that you are carrying them along, not, the, not to influence the decision of uh, the, you know, the session, but to make useful contribution where necessary. Something would be expected to be very decisive, very uh, dynamic in making pronouncements, in participating in national discussions, and even leading national discussions. Uh, and I think that's the way that that thing will continue to remain relevant beyond today. Well, we're going to keep our, our nose up and uh, and look to the northeast. That's where we want to keep going. Uh, when I say the northeast, that means growth. We've got to keep growing, and um, there are lots and lots of uh, students and uh, technologists who want to become members, but the the effort and the reach to uh, capture uh, such people. Uh, continues to be challenged by availability of time to be made by those who are uh, charged with these uh, tasks. We just got to keep looking to the northeast, and whatever it takes uh, within the confines of uh, what it is to be to remain uh, and keep our integrity and, uh, and honor, uh, we should continue to uh, work with that. I have no hesitation at all in giving it 10 over 10. Uh, somebody might say, oh, I'm being uh, carried away and uh, there should be some minuses and all that, but there are always minuses in everything. But I think NAPI deserves 10 over 10. Uh, in the first 20 years, because we are talking 40 years, in the first uh, 20 years, the government scored 5 over 10. But in the last segment of uh, the time period that we are talking of, I would say this called more than 75. I like to be objective. If I'm allowed, I would have said 10, but I will say 9. Why do I say 9? I'm in a position to know how we started and where we are now. I will put Napa in. 7.5 Oh, I think Nape has done well. I would I would rate them as 7 out of 10. But there's still room for growth. But we have performed well. You see, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I said we were able to influence government policies on in the and gas industry by making fruitful suggestions and which the government has actually implemented. 
to, 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 to a greater extent. So the yeah, it's just better that you cannot say ah you find the ten over ten. No, but I think we perform actually very very well. Well, we, for now you see with what uh, the developments of Nape now and for what you know judging from the quality of uh, their ten card presentation and then they are they are spread now because you now have uh, you know outside. You know, apart from Lagos, you know, take out So I think, uh, you know, it should be around say, uh, 70 percent. You can see the more, there's still room. I would kidnap a seven out of ten months simply because there's still room, whatever, to do better than you have done. In, in written, in written performance of Nape in in, in this regards, uh, I want to leave room for more improvement, greater improvement. And so I will not read NAPE higher than six or seven out of ten uh, because there are lots of things that we can still, uh, you know, do much better, you know, in terms of technology application, uh, in terms of uh, uh, people, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, influencing, uh, in terms of helping the country uh, to improve on their policies for uh, for the industry and uh, economy uh, at large. So, if I go out and say because we feel good about what we've been doing, and it was nine out of ten or ten out of ten, then that tells us that there's no more work to do, which is wrong. So that's where I leave that. While we are in celebratory mode, it is very important for us to remember past presidents that have answered the call of God to the great beyond. Their souls rest in perfect peace. Amen.